After picking up just the one point over seven games, Sunderland gave their fans something to smile about this Easter with the 2-0 win over Cardiff on Good Friday. Mike Dodds will be hoping his Sunderland side have managed to turn the corner. Wasn't such a good Friday for Blackburn fans. The 1-0 defeat to Ipswich means Blackburn have failed to win in their last nine matches. The drop zone is edging ever closer and Blackburn start the day only three points above the drop zone. Sam Gallagher returns to the starting 11 for Blackburn. Mike Dodds brings in Patrick Roberts and Romain Mundell. I do feel as though it's an important day for Blackburn with the bottom three in the championship, only three points below them. Patiently trying to work the ball along the right-hand side here, but unable to make too much in the way of progress. He worked on towards Dolan, he's going to unleash and he will send that one wise. Space for Dolan opened up on the edge of the penalty area. Had the invitation to shoot, couldn't find the target. Shish controlling, trying to turn, not given the chance to do that. Dolan calling for the ball and not getting it as it's sent forward towards Smodix. And then a slip at the vital moment. Roberts gives away the ball. Promising signs here for Blackburn. Smodic slipped in and Smodic does what Smodic does. Brilliantly found by Tyrese Dolan who slipped in the pass. And Sammy Smodic, even though the angle was tight, able to find the perfect spot in the far corner and open the scoring here for Blackburn Rovers. He's on to 22 in the championship for the season. The goals keep on coming for Sammy Smolix. Oh, 09 goes wide. Roberts there waiting. Unable to squeeze between the two Blackburn players, though. Dolan in space. Dolan will wait for the overlapping run and Blackburn make a half-hearted appeal for a penalty and the referee says it was just and only just outside Looking to create goal number two. And it's sent in low and it's smashed away. Quite comfortably in the end by the Sunderland defence. Dolan looking to take that one quickly. And he's had a brilliant start to this game, Tyrese Dolan. Lovely pass. And they're in again, Blackburn, and Smodix is there. The Championship's top goal scorer on the mark again. Ranking Costello is able to get there after a lovely turn away, found the room once he got beyond O'Neill. And Sammy Smodix, with a clever touch, guides the ball into the far corner. A brilliant first half for Blackburn Rovers. Who are now two goals to the good. Sunderland looking to respond then in this second half. Haven't been able to get much traction at this end of the field so far in the game. Brilliant challenge by Hedges. Gallagher is on his way. Gallagher has Dolan ahead of him. And Hedges, who finishes off the move that he started. Brilliant from Hedges. And just two minutes into the second half, 
Blackburn Rovers have goal number three. Hedges did ever so well to win the ball. Deep inside his own half, slipped the pass. And Gallagher does ever so well to keep hold. Stumbled his way through and then laid on the ball into Hedges. And the Sunderland defence just seemed to melt away. A lovely run and a smart finish too from Ryan Hedges after excellent work in the build-up by Gallagher. Sunderland win the throw in here, Romain Mundell doing well. Blackburn have robbed possession again and Dolan wriggles free and finishes quite brilliantly. Blackburn Rovers looking set to leap away from the bottom three in the championship and they are doing it in style here, running away with this one here at the Stadium of Lights. Again, it's Hedges, who is the architect for the goal. And this time, he looks to Dolan, who is able to get clear of the two Sunderland defenders far too easily. And then it's a really smart finish into that far corner with a helping hand from the post. Works away. Well, one back in midfield by Sunderland. Bellingham's touch. And then a late challenge. No hanging around here. Equa is quickly on the move. Sunderland deliver in, and Sunderland may have a route back into the game. They do. Following up his rig, the quickest to react inside the area. And maybe there is just the smallest of chances here that Sunderland could fight back. Ainsley Pears couldn't keep hold. And waiting on the follow-up, sliding to get there. Rig smashing into the back of the net. have got themselves into a spot of bother here in midfield, although they will fight hard to win it back. And this is where they've been so effective. In that midfield area, so determined, so dogged. And on their way again up into Sunderland's penalty area, looking for five, and it will arrive. Moran there. After the touch from Sammy Smodix. Sunderland one, Blackburn five. Sunderland fans have seen enough. Again in midfield, Blackburn working ever so hard, carrying the ball up into Sunderland's penalty area with ease. Markandi does well, turns away from the challenge, and the deflection helped his through towards Smodix. Was the touch from him intentional at the far post? On a hat-trick, decided to pass. And Moran there waiting on the goal line with the simplest of finishes to make it five. Sunderland looking to make their way through, but Bellingham is quickly closed down here. Pears anticipates, races to gather. And now we wait for the whistle and there is the whistle well it's a result that Blackburn so dearly needed with tough fixtures on the horizon against Southampton Leeds and Leicester before the end of the season a perfectly timed win Sammy Smodix leading the way two goals at the start of the match meaning that he's now on to 23 for the campaign 
then hedges, a wonderful strike from Dolan, who capped things off with some acrobatics as well. Rand finished it off here with goal number five. And Sunderland are demolished here at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland one, Blackburn five.